Hello and welcome to this tip of the week video where we're going to do a little bit of a speed test to show you the impressive grinding performance of the 8200 belt grinder when it's water cooled. We have a quarter inch thick grasshopper blade here that has a pretty massive nick in it. And we're going to completely take that out and grind it back down to a cutting edge. Hopefully we have enough room to move back to. We'll go as far as we can and then let you see the result. All right, here we'll give you another look at how deep that nick is in that blade before we get started. And with all belt grinders, it's important to note that the side of the wheel, this rubber contact wheel, does not cut. So we always have to be conscious that we're against the belted surface because that's the only surface that cuts. Okay, now with the machine off, we'll give you a second look at the cutting edge that we did on there. Uh, again, do note this is a 36 grit wheel razor star that we're using. And for being 36 grit, um, it might be hard to see here, but the finish comes out much, much smoother than 36 grit. Uh, if I had to guess, it'd be a lot closer to almost 60. So it really gives a nice finish. Um, again, all a nice 30 degree cutting edge angle. And you saw there in the video, that uh, I touched it with my bare hand, that cooling does a tremendous job to allow us to continue sharpening and pushing and removing material without being hindered by the heat. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed seeing the performance of what the MAG 8200 as a water-cooled belt can do. It is really the top performance machine in the industry for removing steel without burning the blade and getting that perfect angle back on a mower blade. So if you're looking at really having to almost remachine or completely recondition blades uh, that have really been abused, this is the machine that will do that safely and contained. And do keep in mind the really nice point about having it water cooled is there's no grinding dust. Everything gets washed down in the drain with the coolant into a filter sock that's inside of the tank. So you don't have to worry about all that dust around your shop and you can really hog some blades. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, give us a call or contact us through magnematic.com. Thanks for watching.